that is sure to play. It's the Mickey Mouse Club coming up next. Presentation is closed caption for the hearing impaired. Show you a surprise you can try on a friend. Take an ordinary rubber band. Have I showed you this? Show you yeah. Right. Okay. Take the rubber band. You put it on your forehead like this. And you talk to him. Go put it before you see him. Walk up to him and go like, you know, man, I got this new move. My hair is alive, man. You see <laughs> I'm surprised. Now, I can't believe that because I did a surprise with the rubber band once. What did you do? Like last summer and I got like real bored. Okay? Right. So, you know those little sink fritzes? Right. You wash the dishes yeah. with them, right? Little, yeah. Right next spray. Yeah. Well, I got a rubber band and I tied it to the back so the, uh, the trigger was held down, right? So, no, I know. So I forget about it that day. My dad comes in, he's in a business suit, tie all dressed up, and he goes to get a drink of water. When he turns the sink on, it's just like Ooh. brain. <laughs> and my instinct is just to run in that bathroom. I mean, I just, is he talking to you now? Oh, we were laughing about it later on that day. But, I mean, right then I was like, no. That's a good one. I like nice surprises. Well, you're a nice person, that's why. Well, what would be your ultimate surprise? You know, my big, my biggest surprise would be like if I could spend like a whole day with Tommy. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, that'd be good for you. Yeah. Well, here's another surprise. Brandy, Rocky, Dee Dee, and Tiffany singing that hot song straight up. All right. <laughs> Wait, wait. 
Coming soon, the adventure is back. This is not going to be easy. For the last time, are you going to give us the mouse, or do we have to take it? Stand back. You may have me outnumbered, but just smile. Hold enough nitro to blow us all sky high. I think you're lying. I don't believe you, Pinocchio Jones. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I warn you, stand back. I'm telling the truth. Really? <laughs> Pinocchio Jones and the Last Crusade. Coming soon to a theater near you. Now it's time for part one of Teen Angel. Ready, Dee Dee? Here I am. Let's look at that one, Teen Angel is a Mickey Mouse Club movie. It's about Dennis, a teenager in the 80s who's totally into stuff from the 1950s, and he doesn't get along with the other kids. So Buzz, an angel, is sent down from heaven to help Dennis out. Sounds pretty interesting. It is. It's got action, suspense, and a love story. I think you're really going to like it. Here's part one of Teen Angel. <laughs> Buzz. Mr. Peters is expecting you. Looks like he has your assignment. Yeah? Not time, huh? Oh, Buzz Gunderson. I'm Mr. Peters. We finally meet. Yeah, finally. Uh, been waiting a long time to see you. You know, there any of any magazines out there? I know, Buzz, but you're not exactly the easiest guardian angel in place. What do you mean? You yeah, made it up here, didn't I? Well, you made it up here, <laughs> but barely. Ooh, that close, huh? We finally found an assignment that might be uh, suitable to your particular talents. He's a boy, 16 years old. He's a nice kid, but having some trouble fitting in. You mean he's a loser? No, 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 definitely not. Just a little different. A little lost. It'll be your job to uh, get him on track. His name is uh, Dennis Muller. Cool sounds, the guy. It looks normal to me. Buzz, it's 1989 now. Times have changed. Thirty years. <laughs> We've gone thirty years. If you don't, I'll tell everyone at the party that I'm your cousin. You couldn't find a date. You told me. All right. Nancy Nichols. Nancy Nichols? <laughs> Are you kidding? Isn't she dating Jason? They're not going steady. Still, <laughs> you and Jason are as different as night and day. I mean, like, he's so in, and you're so. So, well, not in. Yeah, well, maybe that's all going to change. I'll die if anyone else has the same costume. <laughs> Why 
You ain't Dennis Mullen. I'm Dennis Mullen. Who are you? I'm Buzz. I'm your guardian angel. Well, I have a Wendy who's in five school. On Wednesday. Teen Angel is 12 episodes long, and we'll see a different part every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Great. Now it's time for Punchline. Uh, what holds the sun up, Jason? Sunbeams. <laughs> what do you call a cow that has just given birth to a cow? Decaffeinated. Thank you. I got the jewel. What's red, green? Wait. <laughs> What's red and red? <laughs> How you doing? What's black and white and red all over? I don't know. A zebra with a sunburn. <laughs> Why do seagulls live by the sea? Because if they live by the bay, they'd be called bagels. What's the comedian's favorite motorcycle? I don't know. What? 
What do they say when an egg cracks? The, the yolks are new. What's bacteria? The rear entrance to a cafeteria! <laughs> Today's Music Day guests are a personal favorite of mine. They have great sound, lots of rhythm and harmony, and they're really, really cute. Here they are today singing their sizzling hot single, The Loneliest Heart. Everyone, please welcome the Boys Club. <laughs> Sometimes we write together, and sometimes we write individually. Like, uh, for instance, on I Remember Holding You, which was one of our other songs, uh, 
like when I come up with a chorus and stuff and we go into the studio, then we kind of work out parts and harmonies and things like that. So we make the record and uh, something like uh, this. I remember holding you. And then we say, well, that would be cool if we put some harmonies. So I say, Gene, why don't you take the top part? I remember holding you. Three, four. I remember holding you. And it felt so right. And now I find I'm reaching now in the middle of the night. Yep. All the things I should have said. Now my chance is gone. Kind of like that. Great. Great. Good. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. How long did it take you to write, like, a, like I'll be holding you a song? Well, that song took me about, uh, well, I think I spent probably an hour and a half on it. Mm -hmm. And some songs come out in 15 minutes, and some songs we slave over for years. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, me. Uh, yeah. Got one Do you song find it easier to sing a um, ballad than a fast song? Yeah, because usually when, when you write a ballad, you write from the heart, and you write about something you know about. Right. And then and then it just comes out. It's not, it kind of song almost kind of writes itself. Well, what about singing yeah, the harmony ball. and the melody? <laughs> Well, a lot of those are secondary parts, and you don't really worry about harmonies until you have the melodies, until it makes sense. Which one is easier? Well, uh, well <laughs> melody is easy sometimes for me. Yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. And that's sometimes we just double parts, like, Some we'll never lose the memories we choose. And then we go through a verse like that, and then we go, Somehow, when it's too. Somehow, when I tried, you knew that I'd And then I'll take it. That my heart had been untrue. Maybe I should have known it. Maybe I should have seen. But I stay lost in my dreams. Thank you. 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 Just bring okay. it up to you. Well, next time you ring the bell, you're not going to find me. Can I see? See you real soon. Anyone. Why? Because we like you. Where will you end? Transportation is provided by Delta Airlines, the official airline for kids and Mickey Mouse Club. At Delta, we love to fly, and it shows.